Napoleon Bonaparte. Now there's a man that changed the world for quite a few years. Why this painting of Napoleon, Bradley? Because I think Napoleon was a very multifaceted, layered person, you know? He did good and bad at the same time, you know? He was a very just interesting person. Um, I was a big fan of the painter David. Oh yes, that did uh, his coronation paintings, and I wanted to pay homage to him yes. by painting um, painting this painting. Well, he is quite a controversial character for his leadership, and of course the wars and the sad loss of life. Yeah, but he was clever in so many ways. Like in France today, still the code of Napoleon. He changed so yeah. much from the ancient regime, yeah. and he turned it around yeah. from the, the rabble of the French Revolution and the chaos. Well, there, he was, some stability. there was some interesting about Napoleon too, for example. Yeah. He invaded Italy, Yes, you know, and the reason he invaded Italy because he, had, he felt France needed more culture, so he went and stole As things from, from Italy <laughs> and brought right. over to France. So, I mean, you know, he didn't, you know, he wasn't fr friendly to his neighbors. But that being said, it's quite interesting, the whole, like, connection between art, culture, and Napoleon. I feel that, like all cultures have to have art. And for, for Napoleon to wage a war in order to bring culture and actually That's take right. steal money and gold and bring it back to France, it's just quite interesting. And tell me about the actual painting, how, how you've come out with this way of expression. Well, this is all about my layered, layered process. I mean, I put in a full skeletal system underneath it, and then I paint over it. And then at the same time, I use the oil, like an oil or acrylic stick to give it more, more grit and more, more grain. I, this is like kind of my, my renaissance uh, chop and screw technique, yes. where I take something that is a classic painting and I just distort it, I bring it, I give it impressionism, I give it abstractness, all at the same time. And you kind of see the layers of each one, and you have the original composition that makes yeah. you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know, just, it's about, like, it's, very, it's what, what, you, what we would call now um, disruptive painting. Yes. Bradley, thank you. It's an extraordinary work.